that the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five things to do to make 2023 your best year yet. Maybe 2022 wasn't that great for you, or maybe it was, but hopefully these five things I'm about to share with you can make 2023 even better, all right? But yeah, let me know in the comment section, how was y'all 2022 overall? You probably had some ups and some downs, but like overall, how was your 2022? Let me know down below in the comment section. One through five, you know what I'm saying? Five being amazing and one being the worst year ever. Let me know down below. I was 2022 for you i say for me it was like a solid four you know what i'm saying i started my business this year um i cut my hair took some nice trips you know but i also had like a few moments where i was down feeling burnt out and stuff like that so overall for me it was a four let me know what it was for y'all all right now let's get into it if you're new to my channel subscribe check out my merch and instagram all that stuff down in the description let's get into it so the first one is take risks 2023 don't play it safe take some risk bro y'all gotta understand so many people out here with goals and dreams and aspirations, but they're afraid to leave their comfort zone. They're afraid to take a risk, and it holds them back indefinitely, basically forever from ever reaching their full potential and living their best life, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, 2023, don't play it safe, bro. Y'all ever heard that saying, scared money don't make money? That's true, bro. I've actually learned that personally, like when I upgraded my car, you know what I'm saying? My old Jeep had broke down, and I was getting like hoopties my whole entire life, and I was thinking like, bro, I gotta get a car note, but I'm afraid to take that risk because it's gonna be like a high, you know what I'm saying, bill for me every month. And I'm like, all throughout my life, I'm avoiding taking that risk of getting a car note because I'm thinking about how much I'm gonna have to pay or if I can't pay it and stuff like that. But I end up going with it, and lo and behold, bro, me taking that risk actually done rewarded me in so many ways. So many ways, like it's allowed me to make more money, it's allowed me to drive more comfortable, you know what I'm saying, not just stressed out about stuff breaking down and stuff like that. And some other stuff too, but like it was a risk that I was afraid to take. But now looking back at it, like I'm so glad I took that risk and I didn't just play it safe and give me another little hoopty for a grand or two grand or something like that. And up breaking down and going through stressful situations over and over and over again. I'm glad I just took the risk because even though I do got to pay a monthly car note, it forced me to make more money too. You know what I'm saying? So when you're taking a risk as far as buying something, bro, many people don't think about the other side of it. When you got a bigger bill or a bigger car note or a bigger rent, or whatever the case, bro, it forces you to make more money too. You know what I'm saying? Just start figuring out ways to make more money. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I just want to share with y'all, bro. Scared money don't make money in 2023. Take some risks, make some investments, promote your business, spend money, bro. It's gonna come back to you, bro. Don't be living in scarcity. I made a video recently on Instagram about scarcity mindset, so check that out. But yeah, just take some risks, bro. That's the first thing, all right? The next thing is let go, let go. Let it go for anything, bad habits, negative people, uh, environment you wanna let go of. Whatever the case, bro, only you know what you feel like you need to let go of, bro. It could be dating so much. It could be negative self-talk and negative self-beliefs, time to let go of that stuff and just move on. You know what I'm saying? It's all about replacing one thing with another, bro. A more positive, healthy, uplifting, beneficial thing in your life. You know what I'm saying? So let go of whatever it may be for you. Y'all know my famous videos about quitting weed. I had to let go of weed. to open a whole new door in my life and my purpose and YouTube and stuff like that. So whatever it may be, start letting go of things you know are not really serving you anymore. Maybe it was at one point and it was fun. It was good. It was beneficial to you. But hey, sometimes you got to just let go, bro. Whether it's a person, a habit, your mindset, or old beliefs and stuff like that, bro. Just knowing when to let go is a very important part of self-improvement, bro. So y'all know that's what we on on my channel anyway. So yeah, that's the next thing, bro. Let go. The next thing is limit your distractions. Now, I know everybody, including myself, matter of fact, all this stuff, like, it's not like I'm a perfect person, y'all. All this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep in mind for my 2023 as well. That's why I'm sharing it with y'all. Third thing is limit your distractions. Now, this year I've been doing pretty well with that, but most recently within the past month, I've been like getting distracted on Instagram a lot more, um, watching Twitch a lot more, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I feel like I've been taking up too much time. So just try to limit your distractions, whatever it may be, whether it's like entertainment, like social media or Netflix. I say a few of my biggest distractions over my life so far has been like, of course, smoking weed, um, video games, women and stuff like that but nowadays i got a lot more control oh yeah social media too that's why i got a whole playlist about social media how much of a trap it is but like that's a lot of things that were distracting me a lot nowadays i do have more control over my distractions but i do fall into like little weeks where i feel like i'm just watching too much netflix i'm watching too much stuff on social media and not putting enough time into my craft my business and other stuff like working out you know what i'm saying so yeah limit your distractions bro i'm telling you we all got the same 24 hours if you spend a majority of your 24 hours not doing productive things don't expect your life to get much better Fourth thing, 
And I'm pretty much good on this right now, but I be getting like, I got consultations and people be like coming to me about quitting weed and stuff like that. And one thing they be struggling with is people pleasing. They're not prioritizing their self. They be thinking about like, if I tell my friend I'm quitting weed or I tell my girl I'm quitting weed, like they're gonna feel some type of way. And I'm gonna feel some type of way. So I feel like I gotta smoke with them and basically giving, giving to what they want rather than what you really wanna do or what you feel like is best for you. So the fourth thing I got for y'all is stop people pleasing and prioritize yourself. What's going to help you get to the next level in life? Don't always be thinking about everybody else and how they're going to feel about this or how they're going to feel about that if you do this and you do that, bro. What's going to benefit you the most? You got to think about yourself as well, bro. Self-love, bro. You got to think about yourself as well. You know what I'm saying? So many people go through life just trying to make everybody else happy. Their girlfriend, their parents, their siblings. Make everybody else happy and please everybody else. And you end up living a miserable life, bro. You got to think about yourself more. What's going to make you happy? What's going to bring you the most joy? What's going to benefit you? And it don't mean you got to be selfish, but many people don't think about themselves at all. Like, they just can't tell people no. That's one of the biggest steps to, uh, like, overcoming people pleasing. It's just learning to say no and feeling okay with it, bro. Like, no, I don't want to do it. And just being okay with that, bro. Just practice saying no to people, bro. People ask you for money or ask you to hang out. Just say no. I don't feel like going out today. Or tell them nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how would they feel about it? That's on them. Like, you can't be just constantly giving and giving and giving to everybody else and not filling yourself up, making sure you good and making sure you straight. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a big one, y'all. Make sure y'all not people pleasing. Start telling people no and, you know what I'm saying, prioritizing yourself more. The fifth thing is, and I learned this one a lot this year, is reward yourself. I learned this a lot this year because I was grinding. I got my business, like my LLC at the beginning of this year. I started consultations. I started Patreon. I started making YouTube videos a lot. Putting videos on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all this stuff, bro. And I say like halfway through the year, I started feeling burnt out. I felt like I wasn't really rewarding myself a lot. I was just constantly focusing on producing content. Anything that go on in my life, I'm going to talk about it inside a video. And it just got draining over time, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I wasn't really rewarding myself. So like in August, y'all seen that video I posted about me taking a trip to Virginia Beach. I went to Virginia Beach, chilled on the beach, rewarded myself. I recharged back up, you know what I'm saying? And I understood at that moment, like, bruh. You can't just work, 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 work. You're going to get burnt out sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. Work hard, play hard. If you're going to work hard, cool. Play hard too. Treat yourself to some shoes or a good dinner or a nice little vacation trip on the weekend. Whatever the case, bro. Don't just work, work, work in 2023. Treat yourself. Reward yourself. If you're working hard, make sure you play hard too. It's going to make when you get back to work a lot better too. You're going to be feeling more energized, more motivated, more inspired, more creativity and stuff like that. I'm telling you. I just five things I want to share with y'all real quick, but I do got a bonus for y'all today. The last thing to make 2023 your best year yet, wake up early. I've been waking up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. for the past month or so, bro. And it's crazy the difference that it makes. It's crazy the difference that it makes waking up that early. You get stuff done, and then by the time you get stuff done, it's like you still got more time for yourself at the end of the day. So the days feel like you get a lot more productivity done. And you get to chill at the end of the day, too. Instead of waking up later, then working, then by the time you finish your work and get everything done, it's basically the time to just wrap up the night. But now I'm waking up like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., I be getting stuff done, working out, business stuff, errands, all that stuff done, and still have time at the end of the day to relax or make dinner. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I got more time to do. So just start waking up early, y'all. That's a bonus tip. You'll be amazed how much stuff you can get done and how much longer days are by you just waking up earlier. So... Let me know y'all experience with that. So yeah, that's five things plus a bonus, how to make 2023 your best year yet. Like I said, comment down below, how's your 2022? One through five, five being the best. And share anything else y'all feel like I missed on this list, anything that you feel like you're gonna be doing in 2023 to make your year better. You know what I'm saying? Share your suggestions down below. All right, y'all like this video, share the video, subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna holler y'all the next one, man. Peace out.